All right, today I will be pruning this dwarf jade. It has been in this pot for maybe nine months. And it's been pruned back a few times. I've cut back a few of the larger branches, but it's not that it's too big. I could let it grow longer than this, but it's getting too big for my growing area. And I also want to make some structural changes. I want to make sure that it's developing in the direction that I want it to. So this was a little leaf that actually fell off to the side and it rooted and just turned, it's turning into its own plant. I originally thought that was cool, but it's taking up space in the soil and I mean, I'm not going to do anything with this, so I'm going to, I'm going to kill it. That's the first order of business. Second, um, this thing just goes up and then turns into a V. Like, uh, what is that? A slingshot? They call those slingshots in bonsai. And some, some people like it. I don't like it. It's not, it's not attractive to me. I'd rather this plant have had maybe multiple, more than just two, maybe a third trunks, sub trunks forming off the main trunk. I don't like this two trunk thing that's happening. I'll probably simplify it to actually be just one single trunk that grows up with branches coming off of it. Um, that's the plan as of right now. So I'm going to take a look at it, study it, and decide where I'm going to cut. Okay, the first cut that I know I'm going to make is this. I might take all of this off because it just, it doesn't really add any movement to the trunk. It just goes straight up all the way to here. So I could either cut down right here and then have it continue in this direction, or I could take the whole thing off. But since I can't add anything back on after cutting it, I'm going to start by taking just the top off since there's not much of a progression of taper. These plants root extremely easily. I could plant this and have it turn into something, but I'm not going to. I don't have space for that, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to be a bonsai hoarder. Um, and also, they they're very fast growing. So after cutting this, it's going to heal in a few days or in a few weeks, and it'll pick up right where it left off. This branch right here is just growing back and crossing over the whole design, so I don't. I don't need it. All right, this branch just comes straight off. It just goes. It's just straight from the main trunk. That's not really attractive to me. So I'm gonna cut that off too. Now I need to decide which, which is gonna be my main trunk, the central trunk. Uh, it's probably gonna be one of these because say I wanted this to be my main trunk, then I'd have to cut all of this off because this being a branch coming off this trunk is ridiculous. It's way bigger than the trunk. So this could be the main trunk. One of these could be, and then this could be a branch coming off of it. First, I'm gonna, let me cut this down a little bit. So this is just straight growth all the way across. So, you know, it's nice to get some movement. So I'm gonna shorten it at least to here. I might make it shorter later, but from, for now, let's start here. And then we have this going, going right back into the design. I'm gonna shorten that a little bit. Wherever I cut, the, these leaves are gonna start to extend and create um, two new branches. This is a plant with opposite leaves, so they grow, the leaves grow on opposite sides of their branches, of their stems, and when you cut it down, the leaves fork and create two new points. I could at least cut this back down too, because this is again, all straight growth. And I'm doing this little by little before I make my final decisions, because the, I'm, getting, I'm just getting rid of everything that I know for a fact that I won't be keeping. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna, this is, this is nice right here. This little movement, that would be, that's, that's, that's cute. Um, and then having this be a branch that comes off of that could be kind of cool. 
My other option is to have this be my main trunk and it grows and goes up, curves to the right and then continues upwards. So I'm gonna try to imagine the tree like that real quick. I'm kind of just closing one eye and using my hand. You know what, there's another technique. I could use some paper, that helps since I have a white background. All right, this might look dumb, but it's, help it's helping me. Okay, this is distracting. You know, it does look kind of nice with this being the, the main trunk. Hmm. But having that bit of movement is also nice. Well, it's not a bit of movement. That's a lot of movement. And the tree, I could build the tree here. Hmm. So in an unfortunate smelting accident, <clears throat> my phone stopped recording. Um, I didn't do too much. I just ended up shortening, shortening that. I decided that it would be best to just make a decision later on which of these I would keep as the main trunk. I like both so far. I'm gonna let this one grow back and thicken. I'll let this one grow back. This is probably gonna just be a branch coming off of either this trunk or that trunk. And yeah, we can make that decision later on down the line. So here is a 360 view of what it looks like. Who's we? What are you talking about? So we can make that decision. I can make my decision later. <laughs> yep, so this is it right now. I like how it turned out. I know it looks crazy, but it'll it'll grow back. It'll be worth it. It's gonna be way more attractive. So thank you for watching.